are at the Cobb Galleria in Atlanta, Georgia. For the 2021 Blade Show. That's right. That's Mr. Steve Sterling there. And as you can see, let me flip the camera around here. Now, just got the table set up for the Sterling Custom Knife table. And guys, you ain't going to believe how big this damn place is. And probably not even a quarter of the people have set up yet. This place is huge. So, the show actually starts tomorrow. We're here early, just getting getting shit situated. But uh, yeah, this is going to be something else. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, just to give everybody an idea of. The amount of people here right now, this is just the people inside. These are the people that are not allowed in yet. They can't come in for another 45 minutes. The people outside can't come in till noon. Right now it's 15 after nine. This is insane. So when we got here today at seven, the line wrapped all the way around the building. And as far as I can tell, oh my, let's take a look at this. Yeah, as you can tell, it wraps all the way around the building. Man, this is unbelievable. Okay, we're gonna go back and I'm gonna make a coffee run for me and Steve. <laughs> I'm gonna come right back. We're gonna show you the inside of this damn hotel. Okay, so we just got out of the main entrance. So yeah, just the, the scope of this place. It's freaking huge. Really cool artwork. It's so quiet in here compared to the other side. So down here is what Steve calls the pit. This is where the after party happens every night after the show. Me bust my ass on this escalator. Uh, nice little restaurant over here on this side. So, evidently, this place really hops at night. And over here. Oh, and by the way, this is all enclosed. Yeah, that's a roof up there. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, nice little lounge. I gotta run and go get Steve a coffee, and I think I'm gonna grab me one as well. Okay, guys, I'll uh, check back in when we get back out on the floor.
All right. Mr. Sterling just made a good sale. We just sold three knives. Yeah, it won't load. I'm by these lucky time. guys right here. Everybody say hey. Guy with a lot of respect, really cares for what he does. That's yeah, absolutely. He has a lot, of, a lot of pride in what he does, I can tell you that. And a lot of family respect, which you don't see anymore today. Give the guy a lot of credit. Absolutely. Well, congratulations, oh guys. Okay, we're back. It's Saturday. No, I'm sorry. Damn it. It's Friday. Two o'clock in the afternoon. They've let the general public in for now roughly two hours. And I just wanted to show everybody the scope and the magnitude of this damn place. So I'm just going to walk around a little bit and let everybody see what the Blade Show, the largest one in the world, is all about. Oh, and if I didn't say it before, we are in Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, let's take a look at this. This is cool. Ah, tomahawks. Yeah, we got a little bit of every damn thing. Excuse me, sorry. Yeah, you could get run the hell over in here too. Actually, the crowd has died down somewhat from what it was earlier. Oh yeah, we got some cool shit over here too. I about forgot. Yeah, you want knives? It's not all about custom knives. I mean, there's a lot of production knives. A lot of old knives. I've been here for two days and I'm still going to mess around and get lost here. Yeah, there we go. Need one of them, huh? Air them boys out. Let me think. What I'm wanting to look at right around the corner here, I think. Well, maybe they moved it. <laughs> I was thinking it was a big ass truck over here. Maybe I'm on the wrong damn side. Well, shit. Oh, no, it's over there. Oh, yeah, we got, uh, got all kinds of equipment here. And we got holsters. We got bags, scorpion knives, I think the big thing this year is everybody's wanting to try their hand at forging, I don't know, hell everybody you see looks like uh, they've been on forged and fire, and there's a few of those guys that really have been on forged and fire, they're running around here too. Yeah, there we go. This is what Rose needs. Yeah, damn, what a rig. It's 
Something tells me the gas mileage would suck. Holy shit. And we got some cool shit over here too. And of course we got the spider coat corner. This is always crowded. Wow. Damn. And the old Smoky Mountain knife works over here. This is always busy too. Yeah, I think there was a TV camera over here earlier. Oh, and the uh, assorted uh, flea market shit. <clears throat> Holy hell. I was going to try and get out of here, but I don't know if I can. Wow. Not sure what's going on. Full blown traffic jam. Wow. We got some characters too. Let's see, I think that's about the fifth or sixth mask I've seen. Yeah, I think everybody's kind of wised up and don't give a shit. Okay, I'm gonna try to make it back to our table. Yeah, it never fails. Every time I leave our table, Steve sells some stuff. <laughs> so there's the lovely Mr. Sterling. Let's get a look-see. Sorry, my phone's uh, going off. Rose is texting me right now. Look at that. Wow. All right. Yeah, and then the dramatic close-up. <laughs> all right all right today is saturday it's about two o'clock and the crowd is starting to die down just a little bit i'm gonna show you guys <laughs> just what kind of crowd this place brings i mean and there's been a lot of people already leave but Check this shit out. Everywhere you look. Holy shit. <laughs> Nobody 
So, man, I'll tell you what, it goes from mild to wild. Look at this shit. Ah, old Hickory Forge. These guys are close. Yeah, this guy makes hammers just for forging. Cool shit. And then we got the old tactical stuff. Yeah, there's gobs of that stuff here. Well, there's stuff here I never even heard of before. This is wild as, oh God, I don't even know if I can get through here. Yeah, check this out. Unbelievable. Yeah, there's some more of those uh, sanders and stuff. materials oh, holy hell trying to make our way through here It's really thinned out quite a bit. Yeah, it was like standing room only just, I don't know, maybe an hour ago. It was gridlock. I guess everybody's heard of Woodstock, you know, the big concert that nobody could go anywhere because there's too many people. Well, hell, this is knife stock. Got some cool gun stuff here too. Grips. Damn, there's a lot of people gone. Yeah, there's a full-blown wet bar over there. That's what we need. People running around with knives drunk. Ain't that cool? Yeah, bucket swords. Yeah, let's have a margarita and play with some swords. Let's go this way. Wow, shit. This is cool. All right, well, I'm going to end the video right here because I got to buy a t shirt for somebody. <laughs> 